is Veronica, and this is my, I think, ninth now floss tube. I'm not going to turn the camera around and show you my face because it's my day off and I'm not really presentable right now, let's just say. Um, I I wanted to show you what I've been stitching this week, and, um, and I'm going to do a vlog-style video for my new starts for my birthday. So today is Friday, March 1st. I'm taking the day off work so I can do my first new start. But first, I want to show you what I've been working on all week. And this is the um, 12, the first day for the 12 Days of Christmas by Teresa Wensler. I'll link it below. You can still purchase it on PatternsOnline.com. Um, sorry about my shadow here. It's very sunny, so I'm trying to capture some of that bright sunlight to show you what I've done. But, but basically, um, I'll show you, well, here's where it was last time. And um, so this is the, the partridge in a pear tree. It, I don't know, it could be in an ornament or I think the, um, the model is stitched on like a, or they put them on like a frame and um, line up all 12 of them. But you can see I've done up to the uh, halfway point here and then I've started working in the threads for the next 10 rows. You can start to see the body of the bird and then of course the pears. Um, there are some back stitching and there is some back stitching in here around some of the leaves and the bird and the pears. Uh, I'm saving all of that for the end. Uh, and, and next I'm going to show you my new start. If you've been watching my videos this won't come as a surprise. I've decided to start Stargazer today um, and I've got everything all set up. I've got my working copies made and and ready to go and this is my um, my quantum frame. I've got the fabric loaded on here including like a little arrow that I've stitched in to mark the center. I'll rip that out when when I, when I put enough in so that I can get my bearings in case I take it off the frame and I don't put it on like sideways or upside down or something like that. Um, the fabric is um, uh, 32 count Picture This Plus Mystic is the, is the um, dye color. It's a 32 count Belfast linen and um, it's, it's going to be dark. I mean if you look at the picture there's very lots of blues in here but I'm hoping she still shows up in the um, the stars are mostly beads, so those should be hopefully very sparkly. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll film again tomorrow showing you my new start for tomorrow. Bye! Hey everyone, today is Saturday, March 2nd, and here's where I got yesterday with my stargazer. Um, you can kind of see her coming together. I, I didn't spend as much time uh, stitching on her like all day or whatever. I had a lot of um, like housework to do and stuff like that. but. You can see I'm gonna zoom out just or back out just a little bit. As you can see, the fabric that I have is darker on the bottom, so I was thinking the light in the sky would be like the stars and stuff. One thing I'm not crazy about, this is my own fault, I knew this going into it, but the um you can see the the darker colors are there's no black in the pit in the design, but there's a lot of 3799, this very dark gray, and it kind of blends in with the dark blue a little bit, but I'm hoping that once it all comes together you'll see her just fine so that's where I'm at now I'll show you what I'm gonna to start today today I will be starting steampunk dragonfly by Sam Sarah design studios um, I will film again tomorrow showing you where I get with it I'm, gonna throw that down. I'm gonna stitch it on this piece of flax colored linen I know linen is made out of flax but this is the color flax and I think it's what count is it 32 count so, yeah, I'll show you where I get with that tomorrow. Bye! Hey everyone, today is Sunday, March 3rd. Um, this is my progress on Steampunk Dragonfly from yesterday. Didn't get too far, of course, but it's, um, so I think sometimes my weekends are busier than my weekdays just because I try to play catch up and get all of my housework and errands done. Today is gonna be the same Sunday. Um, I'll, uh, I'm going to do a lot of baking, so I'm going to bring some cupcakes in for work, if I can. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to start on today. I've, de I've decided to start one of my Dimensions kits. This is called European Bistro. Um, it's pretty big, and f well, I think it's full coverage. I haven't actually looked at the chart yet, but if not full, then it's definitely mostly full coverage. It's got a lot of the half crosses in it, too. Um, I... I've done a bunch of dimensions kits before, but I've never done one that has this on it, this thread organizer. So I have no idea how to use one of these things. I might just take them off and bobbinate them. I think dimensions has its own like 
colors and numbers for um, for floss. It doesn't use DMC. So so this will be interesting. I, I don't expect to get too far because like I said, I'm going to be baking today to share with my coworkers and my kids. But a little bicycle. Lots of details in this. I love it. And it's probably not going to be a quick and easy design, but it should be fun. All right, so this is my last day of being 39. I'll um, record again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. Hey, everyone. Today is Monday, March 4th, 2019. It's my 40th birthday. I'm going to have to remember that. And, and when people ask me my age, I'm going to have to start thinking, start starting with 40 instead of 30. Wow. Um, so here's where I got with the European Bistro. I'm trying to... It, it is mostly full coverage here. I'll show you. So up in the corner here, you see I'm doing this, um, starting to get into this shutter here. Um, it is mostly full coverage, but there are some parts that are um, in the top of this building here that are not stitched. But for the most part, I'd say it's probably close to like 99% coverage. So I'm going to try to work it like a full coverage piece and um, see how that goes. It's it's got, a, as you can see, it's got a lot of like half stitches and stuff in it, some full stitches mixed, so it makes it a little bit confusing, but I'm working with it. Um, it's really fun to stitch, though. And, um, yeah, so this this wonky thread organizer thing, I looked it up, and some of the older Dimensions kits, the one that I'm more used to, came with like just a bundle of, of floss. It comes with a couple of bundles, too, but... I've, I've found a way to kind of make this thing work as a thread organizer so I don't have to wind the bobbins. Um, I've been punching like holes at the top here and like putting my excess thread on that. But I still don't like this. It just seems so messy. Ugh. So <laughs> anyway, um, that's that. Now I'm going to show you the next thing I'm going to start. My next new start is going to be The Castle by Teresa Wensler. I think it's just called Castle. Um, and I'm not going to actually start this one today like I originally planned. I'm going to start it later for a couple of reasons. One, um, I'll, I've got to work today, and so I won't have much time to dedicate to it. Um, and two, I, um, I ordered, did order fabric, and it hasn't arrived yet. It's supposed to come tonight. Um, I actually ordered the fabric and all of the Krynix for this. Um, and unfortunately, um, due to... The, one of the Krynix is on like back order from one two three stitch. So, I um, I just decided I could start it later. It's no big deal. And instead, tonight and for the rest of the week, I'm gonna focus on Stargazer. Um, next week, um, I'm gonna start this one. So next weekend around March 9th, which is a Saturday. Um, the week after that, I'm gonna move back to European Bistro, and the week after that, back to Steampunk Dragonfly for part of the week. And then in um, Ms. Oso Crafty's birthday sale begins March 29th. That goes on for a week to April 4th. Um, this particular design is um, Stitch Witch 66. Trisha Applegate just started it, and along with um, Charlene from the Witchy Stitchers, which I actually just found her, so I haven't watched any of her videos yet. Um, I think it's her and her daughter. Um, but yeah, I did watch the start um, by Trisha and. I'm really excited to work on it, um, as I talked about a little bit in my last video. So yeah, um, I will film again probably closer to the end of the month after I've done some of these. My, my thing is sliding down here, one sec. Um, <laughs> and so I'll see you guys then. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to always think critically. I will see you next time. I'll be in front of the camera next time. Bye.